Hi, this is Carl. 6.05 in the afternoon. I got back around 20 minutes ago and my grandma is about to cook dinner. Yeah, it's kind of late, but I don't feel hungry at all. I had a really late lunch at my parents' home. Okay, I felt a lot of things. I felt that desire to express myself because I think it is valuable and I believe I can deliver something amazing. Very importantly, I have listened to this podcast episode 390 on Lex Friedman's podcast with Yova Noah Harari. The title was Human Nature, Intelligence, Power, and Conspiracies. Again, I loved their conversation. I think I have listened to their conversation before. Maybe Yova was with another podcaster and I always enjoyed his conversation, his perspectives, his stories, the word he always uses and mentions. Yes, indeed, we live in stories. Mentally, we believe thousands or millions of stories it could be just a story about how to get rid of a code or how to select our spouse or whether God is real or not. Yes, stories. Even signs could be just a story that we just haven't. discovered the truth behind science yet. Maybe that's not the right way to say it. I'm just saying science is so far the best answer we have. Yes, looking back, we have believed so many different stories. And the biggest feelings I got is that lucky, luckiness, luckness, maybe not luckiness, like luck, yes, pure luck. I was born as a human in the late 20th century and I got witnessed huge, enormous transformations in every ways in this world. The way we live, the way we talk, the way we learn, the way we communicate, yes, a lot of things. And from this transformation experience, I definitely learned that whatever we believe or used to believe, of course, will very likely change. The story, we believe, will change. And one of the questions that Lex asked Yova at the end of the conversation they had was, what kind of suggestions you got for the high schoolers or college students to prepare themselves for the future and very shortly Yova said it's just impossible to predict what human civilizations will be like in just 10 years that's not a long time comparatively maybe 500 years ago we can look back and know that 
human civilizations, in many ways, almost every ways, did not really change in a time period of ten years. But in twenty twenty three, you ask any human in this world this question: What this world will be like in ten years? And not everybody have the answer. I mean, probably nobody got the answer because it's changing so rapidly. Even just in five years, so many things did not exist. So many possibilities was not even in the you know. Picture, right? Like AI. That is a really big thing in this recent year. Like probably since two years ago, a lot more people started talking about AI and how it will actually impact this human civilization. In Almost every ways again, and one example that Yova brought up and Lex talked about was writer. It is really difficult to say if we are going to still have human writers in just ten years. Would people? Actually, write on himself, like completely without any help of AI. That would be a very difficult answer. Like it's so hard to tell at this point. And of course, there are a lot of more. Things that AI could do, and the thing is, they could actually do a lot better in a very short time, in a short period of time. They would evolve and learn so much out of our imagination. It's quite straightening because. A lot of us living on this world spent almost entire life to just acquire just a set of skills to build a career or start a company or just work for anybody. They would face this challenge of AI and. I mean, we would face this challenge together. Yeah, and one skill that we humans, according to Yuva, was to constantly reinvent ourselves and learn all the time. Through the changes, that's something that we have to be aware and constantly keep that in mind. Changes will happen in every ways, small and big. Right? How you pay, how you work, how you find spouse. How you raise kids, how you work, all that stuff will change, and we have to constantly learn. So we will not be like kicked out of the game, okay? As a player, <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but. I'm just very f- 
feeling this sense of responsibility again i have mentioned before that i need to raise more awareness around this kind of topic not about ai but more about how we humans should become the ultimate learning people we should become learning what's a good word like we need to learn all the time through reading watching videos listening to podcasts talking to people going to schools or taking classes online offline <laughs> yeah but from what i observe in my physical world this city i don't really see many people learn that much because learning could be very challenging and boring it really takes a lot of determination and just sacrifice with our time and energy and money yes but we really have no choice if we want to be updated with this world we have to educate ourselves constantly through our life and i feel that sense of responsibility to help more people to learn of course i am a learner i'm not a teacher i don't see myself knowing everything of course and i instead often just feel i am very ignorant in almost everything and it is my privilege to learn more with my time and that is something i feel most passionate about okay i didn't really expect myself talking about this for this long i don't know if i articulate my points well enough but this is another learning process to me as a speaker i learn from speaking expressing myself articulating my thoughts so i can learn that whether i understand certain things or not to my understanding if i cannot articulate things with my verbal words i don't quite understand it or just i need to understand it more so that i can express them with my own words okay it is more like a self examination and i quite enjoy this process yes anyway i'm going to read some books again in my next video and thank you for listening and watching yes bye